What's up, you guys? It's Pete Thorne, this thing. You heard it on all the guitar parts on the song at the beginning of the video. Look at that guy right there. That must be Irvine. This is called Irvine's Fuzz, and this is a pedal coming to you from Screwed Circuits. Now, I did another fuzz pedal of theirs a little while back. It was really fun, and so I was excited to see what this one sounded like, and it's just different. It's got a different sound to it. Not a fuzz face. I wouldn't say it's a big muff. It's probably closer to big muff than fuzz face in that it's aggressive, and it's a little less sort of, well, I was gonna say primitive, but it's primitive sounding for sure, because all fuzz to me is kind of primitive sounding. It's just, it's it's a little more indie sounding or something like that than a lot of fuzzes. I don't know, I, I sort of think of fuzz faces and tone benders and stuff as being less indie and more classic rock. And then the Big Muff, of course, Gilmore used it a lot, but then it kind of crossed over into Smashing Pumpkins and stuff, so it gets a little more like alternative rock, indie rock. So anyways, I would put this in the more alternative rock, indie rock kind of category rather than the, you know, like bluesy or uh, proto-classic rock, something like that category. Is that even a category? So it's a fuzz, and it's also got this uh, wobble, which is basically kind of like stutter tremolo. You can go all the way from super slow all the way up to fast, but the depth is set, so this control right here is kind of like speed control for the on-off stutter effect. And it's got its own foot switch. You can turn it on and off. So for the first little um, kind of like arpeggio part I played in the song at the beginning of the video, and then the little melody when all the rhythm guitars dropped out, I had that on. <laughs> and it was kind of doing its stutter thing. Once again, the depth is just kind of fixed. For the whole video, I'm running through my Sir SL68, and I got the channels jumpered, and I got it dialed up for kind of like a rock crunch sound, but not too dirty, actually. More like classic crunch. That seemed to work really well with this pedal. It sounds good into a clean sound, too. Goosing the amp a little bit, like a little bit of drive on the amp just brought out the character of the pedal even more, and I just like how that worked for me. So I'm gonna solo some of the parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside the mix. You can hear them real clear, and then I'm also gonna play more through the pedal and turn the knobs and all that good stuff. Here we go. So let's take a look at the pedal a little bit closer. You basically got four controls here. There's a volume, a disto, I think it says disto, distortion amount. Uh, you've got a wobble control for the wobble feature, and then you got a tone control. So right now I'm running into a semi-overdriven sound. Uh, it's my Sir SL68, and I got the channels jumpered, so old Marshall vibes. And I've got kind of like a slightly brighter sound dialed up because that sounds good with the pedal to me. <laughs> It's a little like gnarly on its own, but when I turn the fuzz on, it speaks nice and clear, and that worked well in the track. So I'll show you what it sounds like. Okay, so the controls are pretty interactive, the volume and the distortion amount. So you can get it to clean up, and you can get it to clean up with the volume control on the guitar too. But it never does the like fuzz face thing, really. It does seem somewhat sensitive to buffers. It gets a little brighter with a buffer in front, but not like heinously so. You can use it with a buffered pedal board, I would say, and it's just fine. I preferred the sound with no buffer in front, but it's it's not really that different. Not like a fuzz face where it just, or a tone bender, makes it totally unusable when you put a buffer in front. This pedal seems to do okay with a buffer in front. Let's turn the knobs a little bit more and then I'll turn on the warble feature. <laughs>
Folks, it's Irvine's Fuzz from Screwed Circuits, a company based up in Montreal, Canada. Some nice folks up there making these pedals kind of one at a time, I do believe. It's a really, really cool fuzz tone that's got an aggressive kind of ripping sound to it. I like fuzz. It's not for everybody, the fuzz effect, but folks that get it, they really get it, and it kind of can become like uh, an integral part of their tone. When I think of players, you know, even as diverse as Gilmore, Jack White, Billy Corgan, I mean, the fuzz is like a massive part of the sound. So this is one for those sonic explorers out there that really want to get out there and try something different. It's Irvine's Fuzz from Screwed Circuits. You can check it out further at the website down there in the video description below click there it'll take you to more info about this fine pedal please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the bell beside the subscribe you'll get an alert when i put out new videos i am pete thorne take care you guys